Hi everybody, Nathan Ronan, CFA here with another update. This one for level three candidates considering or taking the level three exam in 2024. Question is, Nathan, should I take it in February or August? And Nathan, what's different between 2024 and 2023 because I'm a retaker? If you'd like to hear more, please press the subscribe button or the notification buttons now so that you can continue to receive these updates as I put them out on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Okay. Well, what's different between 24, 2024 and 2023? Behavioral finance. That's it. All the other topics are the same. Behavioral finance has been removed from the program in 2024, and you don't have really essays or item sets or readings associated with it. Okay. Uh, there were four or five readings in 2023, but those are gone. That's pretty much the only change. But I say this with a caveat. Even though they've removed the four or five readings of behavioral finance from the 2023 program, in 2024, some of those concepts, some of those emotional and cognitive biases are still scattered through the readings. So make sure you pay attention to those behavioral biases and take note of them. But that's the only other difference. Otherwise, you still have the same topics, equity, fixed income, derivatives, alternative investments, ethics and GIPs, capital market expectations, asset allocation, individual in, um, in private wealth management, institutional investors, trading and performance evaluation. But you don't have behavioral finance. But the program otherwise is the same as 2023. Would I use the 2023 materials for 2024? I would not. I would just use the 2024 learning ecosystem. But if you want the hard copy books, order them over Amazon. But just make sure you're using 2024 materials for the 2024 exam. Now, if you're a retaker, I would recommend taking the exam in February because whether you've, re whether you've taken it once, twice, or three times before, the curriculum is pretty much the same. Have a cushion that if you don't pass it in February, you could still retake it and just pay the registration fee for August. But if you leave it all the way till August, you're basically rolling the die that you'll pass the exam in August. And if you don't, you are subject to a whole new curriculum in 2025 and all the subsequent changes that are being made in terms of the paths to the charter. So I would recommend taking it in February. And if you don't pass it, taking it in August. But if you pass it in February, you're done. That's for retakers. For first time takers, it's the end of October right now. I would say, hey, do, you, do I think I can actually get this done by February? If you're not working or you have a lot of time or you have a light work schedule, I would go for February so that if you pass, you're done. And if you're not just like a retaker, you can retake it in August. You have that cushion. But if you don't have a lot of time, you're working 16 hours a day, you have a family to raise, you don't have time to sit down and study, only maybe a couple of hours a week, then I would go for the August exam and forego the February exam. No need to fail something that you know you're gonna fail. But either way, either way, what I'm trying to point out to you is you have two shots at it in February and August under the current curriculum, which is very similar to 2023. So I would definitely, under most circumstances, aim for the February exam. Because again, no matter how much you study, there's no guarantee that you're gonna pass. It all depends how you stack up against the other candidates and what the minimum passing score is determined by the Board of Governors. So that's my two cents for you today. If you have any questions, I would you can reach out to me at chalkandboard.org. That's C-H-A-L-K and A-N-D, board, B-O-A-R-D. That's chalkandboard.org. And one of the things I would say, the secret to passing level three, because if, if you cut this, then you're not hearing this anymore. But if you're staying with me, here's the important point. The key to passing the level three exam is knowing how to do the essays, knowing how much to write, knowing how much not to type or write, knowing what the graders are looking for. And I'm happy to give you that guidance and that insight once you have signed up with me for my level three core curriculum or bundle offering. And my bundle offering also includes two essay mocks that I will personally grade for you and give you feedback. So this is important to you. You wanna pass your level three exam? I don't think there's another better way you can do it. Work with someone with a lot of experience with the CFA essays and grading essays for you. That's me. And with the content as well, I've been doing this for 27 years. And I'm happy to share that knowledge and experience with you. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. My phone number and email is on our website. Have a great day and good luck to you on the level three exam.